if you, like me, like to install custom graphics to football match, like your match kits, of course, club logos, and you know, player faces like Virgil here, Football Manager's graphics folder is going to become huge, much, much larger than the actual game. And when you install Football Manager, you actually get to pick what drive you want to install it. And if you, like me, have more free space in OneDrive, you might want to install the game on that drive rather than the C colon, as I did here. The problem is that even though I install the game here, it still puts the save file and all the costume graphics on uh, your C colon, your documents folder, the sports interactive folder here. So um, if you're using all these costume graphics and this folder is going to be much larger than the actual installed folder. But there is a way to fix this and move things around. First off, for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to remove the graphics folder because with it in, it's just going to take like hours to copy and move this folder. So I remove the graphics folder, I copy the FM24 folder, I go to the new drive where I have created a sports interactive folder already, and I just paste the FM24 folder that used to be in documents, your documents into the new sports interactive folder on my new drive. And I already prepared it with a graphics folder that I move into the Football Manager 24 folder. Then I'm going to jump over to the game and I'm going to go for preferences. And uh, under preferences, we have the advanced option and uh, the interface option in the menu. I'm going to change it to general. And under general, if you scroll down a bit, we're going to find the use uh, or the location. And here I can change the location for the save file on the costume graphics to another place. Now, if I go all the way back to my computer, I get the option to pick the D colon and under here I have that sports interactive folder that I've already created and inside here I have the FM24 folder that I copied earlier. I'm just going to select that folder and then after that I'm just going to press confirm. Now you may panic and think like oh no this didn't work all the graphics are gone but don't worry it's still using the old location for it to actually start using the, the new location everything uh, to work again, I need to exit the game. And after I exit the game, just to show that it's actually using the new folder, I am going to go to uh, the, uh, the old folder in your documents where everything is located, or previous version was located, and I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard to uh, remove this folder and of course in the new folder we have everything on the D colon we have the graphics and as you can tell we also have the player faces so now we are going to boot up football manager once again and since it takes a little bit of time let's move ahead and after some waiting we are fine let's start screen let's uh, check out the preferences to see that we are actually still using the new folder on the D drive that we selected previously. So by scrolling down, we can see that under location, we are using the D colon one. But uh, if you click load the last game, we can't do that because there's no game available. And that's because the last game were on another drive that we have deleted. So we're just going to find it going load game the normal way. And then let's just load it. And there you have it. Now we can see we have the costume Liverpool uh, logo. We watch the club. We see Virgil is uh, there again. And of course, the old folder is deleted. So we do know that we are actually using the new one that we copied. And if this guide helped you, make sure to press that like button because that helps me out. And uh, also let people know in the comment section below that this is actually working so people can see that... Uh, yeah, it, this is working. And if you're struggling, let me also know in the comment section below. And I will, to the best of my ability, try to help you out. Thank you for watching.